Good morning, everyone. I will be reviewing with you guys quiz five, question five, which asks, what is the difference or what are the differences between ABA Rule 8.4 and Tennessee Rule 8.4? Please select all that apply. So, why don't we get started in the end and work ourselves up? We always start with letter A. So, today we're going to start with letter D. So, the last option says that the Tennessee rules forbids lawyers from being dishonest while the ABA rules does not. So, let's look into the Tennessee rule first, just to make sure it, the beginning statement is accurate. So, we see here the Tennessee rule 8.4 that a lawyer must not engage in conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit, or misrepresentation. So, yes, the Tennessee rule is accurate with the beginning statement in the last option, which is that it forbids lawyers from being dishonest. Now, let's see if the ABA rule does not say anything about being dishonest. So, go up here to the ABA rules, 8.4. We see here that a lawyer must not engage in any conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit, or misrepresentation. Therefore, option D cannot be correct because they're both similar. We see no differences. So now let's look into option C. Option C says that the ABA rule forbids lawyers from committing crime and the Tennessee rule does not. So we're going to look first into the ABA rules to make sure that the beginning statement is accurate. Now we see here in the ABA rule that a lawyer must not commit a criminal act that reflects adversely on the lawyer's honesty, trustworthiness, or fitness as a lawyer in other respects. So we see here that the ABA rule <coughs> does forbid lawyers from committing crimes. So it does, it, or it is accurate with the beginning statement. Now, let's look into the Tennessee rules and see if it doesn't say anything about criminal act. So we see here it says that it is professional misconduct for a lawyer to commit a criminal act that reflects adversely on the lawyer's honesty, trustworthiness, or fitness as a lawyer in other respects. So we see here that option C cannot be the correct answer because they are both similar. Once again, we're looking for the differences between the ABA rule 8.4 and the Tennessee rule 8.4. So option D and option C are both similar in stance. So now why don't we look at it in option B? So option B says that the Tennessee rule forbids lawyers from disregarding court orders, and the ABA rule does not. So again, we're going to look at the Tennessee rule to make sure that the beginning statement is accurate. And we see here in the Tennessee rule that it is professional misconduct for a lawyer to knowingly fail to comply with a final court order entered in a proceeding in which the lawyer is a party. So go back to quiz five question five the Tennessee rule does forbid lawyer from disregarding court orders so the Tennessee rule is accurate to the beginning statement in option B now let's see if the AB rule ABA rule does not follow so we see under the ABA rules we find no content of court orders. We see nothing about a court order being missing. So therefore, under quiz five, question five, option B can indeed be the correct answer because we see that the Tennessee rule yes it does forbid lawyers from disregarding court orders 
which we see in G. But the ABA rules does not, as we see clearly stated here, we see nothing about lawyers and misconduct with court orders. So option B can indeed be the correct answer. Now let's look into option A. Option A says that the ABA rule forbids discrimination and harassment while the Tennessee rule does not. So we're going to look into the ABA rule and see if the beginning statement is accurate. So we see that it is professional misconduct for a lawyer to engage in conduct that the lawyer knows or reasonably should know is harassment or discrimination on the basis of race, sex, religion, national origin, ethnicity, disability, age, sexual orientation, gender identity, marital status, or social economic status in conduct related to the practice of law. So yes, the ABA rule does forbid discrimination and harassment when it comes down to misconduct with the lawyer. Now let's see if the Tennessee rule does not say anything about discrimination and harassment. So we see here, the Tennessee rule does not comment on harassment or discrimination. We see that neither A through G. Therefore, option A is a correct answer. ABA rule for business discrimination or harassment by the Tennessee rule does not. So we see another difference within option A and we see a difference within option B. Therefore, your answers for question five should have been option A, the ABA rule forbids discrimination and harassment, while the Tennessee rule does not, and option B, the Tennessee rule forbids lawyers from disregarding court orders, while the ABA rule does not. So thank you.